Hi guys, my name is Tigus Vidix. Welcome to my blind playthrough of Subterrain. Second episode. First episode, we finally left the, sta the, 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 the prison station and we are now heading to Central Control. We are going to fasten time to get there faster. And we'll see what is asked from us after we get here. This is as far as I came last time. To be honest, I think I still went into um, Herbert Station, I think it was, Herbert Center, and didn't really explore all that much and ended the first attempt. So, this is a save point. A lot of chargers, which is good. Oxygen canister. West can recharge its current equipped oxygen canister by using the oxygen rechargers found throughout Mars colony. Oxygen canisters are upgradable through research. We already know that. And we also got temperature canisters. Exactly the same thing, except they work for providing temperature control. Because in outer space there's a lot of cold. Now, we still don't have a temperature canister or uh, an oxygen canister. We already got a power pack, so we can recharge the power pack. And we can start trying to understand the layout of this map. I already know it, more or less. Um, I don't think it changes. I think only the items, uh, the loot, will change position and drop rate. But I think we can close this for now because that's the train station. And can also close this door. And we can open this one, which gives us access to um I can't remember the name of this machine. I'm sure it'll tell us soon enough. And we got a lot of containers here. Beacon. Beacons can be thrown from the inventory or hot bar. Once they are on the ground, they can be interacted. Customize your color and information. Okay. So, what are you saying? Uh, environmental effects, resolution. Is there a way to, to change the, the, the layout? The UI? I don't think so. Okay, but, like I was saying, we got a lot of containers here. Containers have a limited set of space depending on, on the container type and size. And we are going to need a smaller one to take smaller, larger, I mean, a, a small size, large con uh, content, uh, and take it to what will be our room. Uh, so this is the bathroom in the central station. The reason I'm showing this is because this area is going to be our base of operations. It's got all the main machinery that we're going to need if, if we want to survive and escape in here, like I shown you this machine which basically keeps the, the materials we, we create uh, for construction and upgrading stuff and here you can store 
production output and production output comes from a bunch of things from these machines that we cannot activate yet remote terminal is not working currently uh, it needs level 2 software or better to function and it's activated at the mines uh, this one is exactly the same thing but it's activated at the biosphere uh, two places that we don't have access yet these are remote terminals that um, are controlled and work by at Nielsen station and uh, I'm not sure if we, if we can go to Nielsen but I think so I think we can already go to Nielsen's and uh, this is a repair yeah this is a repair reconstruction bay nano reconstruction bay now it would be great if you could just repair this broken terminal thermal regulator but he can't so what he can do is repair the worn out prison suit for example as you can see here okay completed we can take it and now if we wanted we could already equip it I won't because what I have right now it's better I think I think mobility 100 510 210 100 so 520 100 so yeah what I got now it's better so I'm not gonna use it but th this is the concept so you you can repair worn out or about to bust items in here and these I don't know because I, 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 like I said, I haven't gone that far to realize how these work. I have never been to the mine or to the biosphere. And here you got the temperature regulator. It's the regulator that uh, keeps the temperature steady in all this central control area. And every area of the of MPO needs this needs one of these working and that's one of these uh, in, unfortunately central control right now is the only place that has one working all the other areas are at, uh, at negative temperatures because their temperature control regulator is not working so what we'll need to do is to repair these temperature control regulators in the other areas so that we don't need to use the, the temperature uh, control canister uh, in our suits that spend energy. Uh, we also don't have yet such a canister, but we'll find one soon enough. Um, to, to repair those regulators from other areas of the station, we'll need to create uh, thermal regulator cores, or to make them, or to find uh, working conditions find one in working conditions uh, because uh, so far the only working one we have is working here in central station we have another broken one so what I'm guessing is we can use the broken one to research a way to do a new one and that is done in the research department probably at Nielsen station and then we can make the order to create a new one at Turbert Station, which is the location where the construction department seems to be, from what I remember from the first attempt. So that's basically it, and that, that's gonna happen with thermal regulators, it's gonna happen with oxygen regulators, which is exactly the same thing, they are not working in all the other areas outside Central Station, and that that is also that is also going to happen with uh, even with um, with uh, power. So energy itself, it's going to be scarce. We can uh, we have some energy right now. We can see in our journal um, in Mars map. We can see that. For now, we have 12,600 points of energy, of capacity, and we are using 5,000. So, we are using 5,000 because we are powering MPO 
and central control. I don't know if MPO we are powering it. Probably it's a separate grid. It's probably its own grid. But for now we are only powering central control and perhaps MPO. And we can probably still connect another area and we are going to need to. Because we're gonna need to go to Robert Station and Nielsen Engineering. We're gonna need to go to Nielsen to Werbert to in fact to research the broken thermal generator. And then we're gonna need to go to Nielsen Engineering to engineer a new thermal regulator so we can regulate the temperature in all these other areas. That's basically it. We're gonna need to do that with thermal regulators, with oxygen regulators, with power canisters for all these areas, uh, with power generators to, to power all these areas. And until we do, we're gonna have to rely on power packs and, and temperature canisters and oxygen canisters. So all the while getting invaded with the infection rising. It's a pretty good game. It's pretty, pretty well developed system all around. Now, I've rented a lot and continuing with the exploration, we can find more crap in here. And before I forget, let me just start by doing that right now. I'm gonna start storing my crap in these containers near the machinery. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm running out of space in my side bag. And I'm going to use most of it in here, so it makes sense. Um, here, living or otherwise, everyone seems to have evacuated and whatever did this isn't around either. I guess this place is safe for now. I may as well set up my base camp here. This would be a good place to stage my escape. Fortunately for me, most of the important facilities for MPO are within walking distance of central control. I don't even need to power up those sections to reach them. I could probably reboot the 3D printer and other facilities at Nielsen Engineering, maybe even print out some supplies I need. Herbert Research Station, where I used to work, has research equipment I could use to feed instructions to the systems in Nielsen. I'll probably have to use the excavator at the mine to gather materials for the 3D printer. I should also check the biosphere. I could probably use the agricultural system there to supply the biocombiner at Nielsen Engineering, maybe even sustain myself. So basically, he's telling us what I've already told you a little while ago. Uh, we will we'll need to combine and use all the functions in these four areas in order to survive. We'll need to research items, build them, build those items at Nielsen's. Uh, uh, get resources and materials to make those constructions at the mine and at the biosphere, so basically that's it. 
uh, basically mine and biosphere is where you get resources, herbert is where you do research for new items and weapons, and engineering is where you create those weapons and items. Not a soul around. Yeah, really. So, this is our pharmacy, apparently, which is good because I don't think I had any, any yet. Um, let's take two basic medical kits. Let's take one decontamination pill, let's and take only one because they are rare and we are going to need at least one to research it. A uh, nano casting kit, we can take one, yeah, just in case something goes terribly wrong. And I'm not gonna take any, any. Uh, any steroids or drugs to buff myself because uh, well because I don't think I'm going to need it and I don't know how how scarce they are and I'd rather keep them for now for stronger opponents later so okay what else we can we gotta organize this thing, man. Because I want to get unimpeded to come to my room in and out without getting bothered by clutter. So
and there we go. So we are also going to use this um, drawer to keep Or at least armor.
true because we are not going to use them anytime soon. And he's getting really tired, really hungry, really thirsty, so we're gonna feed him and give him something to drink too. And allow him to sleep for a while. Okay, now that we rested for a bit, recovered our health and our rest, um, we got contaminated from something we ate probably. Still very low, contamination one, but it's a concern because it will keep growing steadily. So let's just hurry up, like I was doing before. Um, We need another container here, preferably for 48 spaces. We'll see if we can find one, one that works. I guess this one could do it. This is not mandatory, of course, I'm doing it because I'm kind of a control freak and I like to have everything really, really organized and, well, and it's kind of a waste of time, to be honest, but I rather like to have proper storing container in my room so I can keep most important items in here with me. I'm gonna use the large storage container to keep all my primary equipment, so that would mean standard suits, that would mean all weapons too, so Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use smaller containers to store crap like this, bags and underwear and stuff like that, and uh, things like um, like spare power packs and containers. I have none to leave right now, but eventually I will, I hope. So that's about it. We stored food here. We can take the snacks since we have no more food with us. And okay, let's just keep going. I don't think there's any more reason to return here, so we can close this door too. Okay. We 
had the key for that power control console. This has got to be the power control console. As usual, as usual, there's no one here either. I should be able to control the flow of power for the colony from here as well as monitor the generator's current status. The generator is not operational at full capacity, so I should be careful when connecting additional sectors to the power grid. I could overload the reactor if I draw too much power. If I do, it will overheat and probably initiate an emergency shutdown sequence. That would be bad. I could end up stranded if I'm not careful. And what's worse, working oxygen filters and temperature regulators cannot function without power. A blackout means certain death, as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. I can't just sit here though. I'll have to power up other locations to gather supplies and gather information if I want to get out of here. There's a lot of consoles around here. If I search them, I might be able to find some information. Of course we're going to search them. Um, it's basically telling us what I explained a little while ago. Okay, two more keycards. And nothing here. Another keycard, nice. And another Jeff Murray's figurine. I wonder if they have a fan of Jeff Murray in there. Um, another keycard, nano SSD, digital clock. Okay, always interesting. Power console update. Power control console. The power control console can be used to connect and disconnect the power from central control to the other locations on Mars. The generator has limited output capacity that can be expanded with upgrades. The generator will overheat if West uses more power than it can produce. When it begins to overheat, a countdown will appear. Once the countdown finishes, the generator will shut down, causing a colony-wide blackout. Rams won't run without power, so don't get stuck. Okay. So, basically, what it's telling us is what I was explaining earlier. So, we have a maximum capacity for the MPO generator, 12,462, which means it's decreasing slowly, but it's decreasing. Last time I checked, it was 12,600, and now we just saw it drop from 12,462 to 12,461. That means that capacity is dropping slightly and slowly but steadily so um, we are using 500 5100 of those 12,000 uh, because we have the central control and the MPO prison powered up we are gonna need Herbert's Herbert research and Nielsen engineering engineering powered up also uh, we are not going to need the mine in the biosphere right away so we can leave it powered off but I'm going to turn on Herbert and Nielsen so choosing Herbert I'm going to connect we can see the power usage going up to 6400 still way below the 12,000 limit and we can also go to Nielsen and connect it and it will go to 7700 I would probably still be able to connect the mine and the biosphere, but I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to those places right away, so I don't know if that makes a difference in the amount of, of uh, energy that gets spent and that decreases in the total capacity. Of course, it, it occupies power usage, but as long as it's below the 12,000, I wouldn't see a problem. But, because I don't know the consequences of having everything connected, I'll just leave it like that for now, and we are going to begin exploring. Global infection stands at around 16%, infection level 19% at Nielsen Engineering, at Herbert it's at 20%, Central Core Unfortunately, still at zero because it's our base of operations. MPO prison, 4%, still low. It's, uh, it's very out of the way. But we're gonna have to research 
to, to, to search these two places. So... This is the reactor status. We can see all these circles are power cores. I'm not exactly sure yet why we have a central core and then four other little cores. Um, and I don't know what difference uh, does it make the inner cores or the outer cores to the total power capacity or to the probability of overheat or whatever. I really don't. So what I do know is that these different circles, green circles, smaller in here, are very similar to my own circles around the power pack and the suit uh, regarding their capacity. So I'm guessing that the power capacity going down is related to these circles also going down, decreasing the power cores capacity. That means we are going to need new power cores eventually. Uh, so we better start searching right away and researching on how to build new power cores because we eventually are going to need them. So for that, something I learned in my first attempt at this game, we are gonna need, and that's about it, that's about just as long as I got. I never really explored uh, Herbert or Nilsson. Uh, not even halfway any of uh, uh, any of those two of those two areas, and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to go to the reactor and we are going to take one of these cores, probably one of the outer cores, uh, one of the lower, either this MK1614 or MK1631, which are uh, with the ones with uh, low uh, with less juice on them. So, and we are going to take one of those cores to see if we can take it to Herbert Research and research it so we can build new ones at Nielsen's Engineering. Now, we still have a few containers here to search. Martin, and this one is empty. And a keycard for the generator room. Nice, because it, it, like I was saying, we're gonna need to get in the generator room. Now, there's nothing else in here, I think. Okay, broken oxygen filter, which is what we're gonna need, uh, a good one, not a broken one, to, to, to connect to these terminals in other areas, so we have oxygen in those areas too, like we have in here, at the central control. So, our best bet right now, uh, unless we find a good one along the way, is to research this broken oxygen filter at Herbert's, so we can build new ones. We also found an oxygen canister, which is to equip it, and so that we can have oxygen inside uh, other areas where there's still no air. And same for thermal canisters. Let's just equip this thermal canister too, and the broken thermal regulator, we're gonna do exactly the same. We're gonna take it with us to see if we can research it at Herbert's. So now that we got all that, we're just gonna keep going. Let me just close this door and this one. Let's see if we can get here. Yeah. Okay, now this is a door to the biosphere. We don't have a, a, a key card for this yet. And this is a door to the mine. 
we also don't have a keycard yet. This is the door to Herbert Station. Where we need to go next. Canisters. Damn, I'm lucky. On top of avoiding the infected, I have also been fortunate enough to not die from suffocation or hypothermia. That may change quickly if I'm not prepared. The power console indicates that the oxygen filters and thermal regulators are offline for most of the colony, so I'll need to find some oxygen and thermal canisters if I'm going to access those areas safely. Once I find some, I can charge them using the recharg recharging stations. I should also try and fix the oxygen generators and thermal regulators whenever I can. Once I do, I'll be able to breathe or keep warm without the need for canisters. Okay, like I was saying. So, before going down, I should equip oxygen and thermal canisters and make sure they are charged before I proceed. Of course. And just to show you too, so, and here we have Nielsen Engineering, right beside Herbert Research. So, at least that makes it easy uh, to research and then build. You just have to go around from one place to the other. In here, we have another oxygen canister and another thermal canister, which is good, because that means we get spares to take with us. And same, same thing in here. We can also take all of this. Uh, we are overweighted already, so we cannot take everything. So let's just, since we still have to return here to recharge our canisters, let's just take the opportunity and... Start storing all the crap we found. Let's take these grenades too. And now, let's see. So, photon grenade in here. Electric stun grenade in there. Vito, no, we are not gonna use Vito in there. And no more grenades. Good. But we do have beacons. Now, we gotta recharge all these thermal and oxygen canisters. Let's read these updates we found. Let's see what we're saying. Martin. Martin! Keep this recording gone so you don't so you can remember what you need to do. You can do this. You know you couldn't find much at the space center. But don't lose hope. We don't have spacesuits, so I need you to avoid all areas where life support is down. The central cluster still seems to be okay, so I want you to take the train there. Head over to the mine and try to gather up some supplies. You wouldn't believe the stuff they have in the storage over there, and you might be able to find some food in the break room if it, wasn't, if it hasn't been raided already. Grab whatever you can find, then head back here so we can get out before those whatever those where get you. Please, for the love of God, don't get distracted. Do not run off to the plaza for choco pies or anything else. I'm counting on you, damn it. Get what you can from the mine, then head back here, got it? No choco pies. That's an order. And don't forget that keycard. It's the only way to open the space center security door and the only way back in. We need to try to keep more of those things out, and this is the only way. Don't lose it. This is Captain Roger signing off. Well, Martin seems a bit, a bit, a little bit crazed off for choco pies. My guess: he failed to, ful to fulfill his orders because he went after the choco pies, and everyone died because of it. Power console update. All right, Doctor Khan, I managed to figure this out. Using the data you got from Dr. Raskovitz, I came up with a user interface modification so we can calculate the rate of infection from a glance. 
it's really simplified, but it will get the job done. First off, we've managed to tap into each district bioscanners. Thankfully, these are subsystems that are directly powered by a generator, so we won't have to worry about keeping observed locations powered. Each district's infection level is calculated by density. The more there are, the higher the percentage. Once I figure out a better way to calculate population, I'll patch it in, but for now, it just sets a high threshold. If a district is above 80%, I'd steer clear of it. I don't even want to think what 100% would look like. The next thing I've added to the UE is infecting infection rate. Dr. Raskovitz, of all people, was right all along. Low oxygen levels and cold temperatures speed up the rate that this infection spreads. The infection rate readout will monitor temperature and oxygen levels and factor that into the estimate rate of growth. Once you get those prototype filters and regulators, this system is prepared to measure the suppression effect and factor it into those calculations. I don't get any of this, Dr. Khan. Dr. Khan. I mean, I punched the data you gave me, but can you explain what's going on in a way I can freaking understand? What's the correlation here? You know what? Screw it. I heard the evacuation announcement. It's just a matter of time before I'm allowed to get the hell out of here and forget about all of this, so I'd rather not know just how crappy the situation is. It's be, it's, it'd be better to be oblivious if this situation is as bad as security claims it is. So, basically, that gives us another reason to power up other areas. Not only because we want we want to be able to walk around freely without concerns for for uh, oxygen and power and thermal levels but also because it slows down the infection rate now we are going to recharge our canisters here don't forget to recharge your spares too. The way to do it is you have to equip them. Okay, 60, 40, and now it's probably just these two missing. So, I'm gonna take the opportunity to take a few of these materials, the ones that I think are most likely to wield some, some results upon researching. And I'm gonna keep them in the production output, which usually is where the items I uh, I build uh, go to after I build them. But I'm gonna use it as a storage container for a little bit, and you'll understand why soon enough. Okay, now that we recharged everything and we know where we need to go, we need to go explore these two areas. Before that, let's just explore the remaining central control. I don't want 
want a depth water. More food. Rotten food. Don't eat it. I keep saying it. Don't eat it. Okay. Pork, ladle. Okay, I guess that's everything. We can return here later to get that crap. I guess we can even store it right away. Just to make sure we have enough room for whatever we find then downstairs. So. food, bitter tea, and roast beef, and pineapple, and this can stay, okay, now before I forget what we get here, oh okay, take all items, that's what was missing, so Let's place this here. Canisters are all filled. Nice, where did I put the bags? Here. Okay, side bag and side bag. And light stick can stay too. Alright. Perfect. Now... Oh, okay. Broken oxygen filter and broken thermal regulator, another thermal regulator broken. So... something else we can also store here Finally, Act Key Card Class B. Finally, we got a last container also full of crap. A last room also full of crap. No crap. Whiskey. Yeah, why not? Whiskey. Usual earphones, earphones. Okay. You better take it all. And get it over with. Take all. Okay. A lot of work, guys. A lot of work. But at least everything gets organized really quick, and then we can focus on exploring.
Almost done, guys. Yeah, I know. Boring. And you don't really have to do this. But I'd rather do it. Like I said, I'm a control freak. And I'd rather do it because... Later, I won't have to waste time looking for all of this crap when I start going out of ingredients and materials. I won't have to go against the clock looking for them. Even if I'm losing a lot of time right now, that will be precious, because all the while infection is growing at the highest rate possible, since I have not powered any other place yet. But like I said, this is a blind playthrough, I have no idea if... Uh... Wow, great. If I can do things differently, I probably can. And I don't know if I'm doing things good or bad. But we'll find out soon enough. Now, this room has got completely explored. Nothing else in there. This door, we got a key. And this door, we also got a key. And we are back at the place we all needed to be. Now, this one is locked. No way to open it yet. And this... It's the generator room. The generator. I found my way into the generator, into the reactor for the colony. This power plant is one of humanity's most remarkable achievements. It's an inertia drive. Inertia drives run almost endlessly via a core inertia engine. While it doesn't generate quite as much energy as fusion-based technology, what it produces is clean, reliable and endless. Without it, MPO would have never been founded in the first place. Okay, it looks like the generator reactor modules are burning out due to damage. The, re the generator must have at least one operational module installed to prevent a meltdown. I must be able to find some spare modules around here somewhere, but I shouldn't plan on taking a core down to Herbert Research. Once there, I can see if research machines can create a schematic deck that I can use to produce more in Nielsen Engineering. If power draw exceeds the generator capacity, the generator sh is sure to fail. I should be okay for a while, but I need to, I need to figure out to, how to offset this. If I don't, it won't be long before there's only enough power for central control. Okay, that's what I was explaining a little while ago. We're gonna need to find um, more cores like this, and we're gonna need to find them, or build them, or both. The generator capacity is determined by the generator reactor modules. Generator modules degrade slowly over time, and mutants will try to destroy the generator modules during invasions. If all of the modules are destroyed, a meltdown is triggered, destroying the generator in the process. Generator reactor modules are upgradable to research and can be repaired to some degree. West must defend the generator at all costs. Okay. So, none of them is so low that, is a, that I'm able to repair it yet. But I can take a core with me. And I cannot because I'm too heavy, but I can take a core with me to research station Herbert and try to research how to make new ones. Now I'm too heavy, but we are gonna fix that right away. And... We are gonna... Rest for a while and end the second episode here. Next episode, we are gonna start exploring and... try to find new items and new ways
to progress and get out of Mars. Thanks guys, thanks for watching, and see you tomorrow.